Ahoy ye mateys. I've decided to take up pirating and plundering. I am the captain now. What do you got to say about that? Uh, nothing. Talking about zoo. Hello, Tubers. Today I'm coming to you from Kitsap County, Washington, and the secret location of RV Crazy. You'll actually see my RV sticking out there in the back. Anywho, I'm uh, sitting in uh, what could have been my coffin last night. So RV Crazy tells me, hey, you got to check out my golf cart. It's all hopped up. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. It's like a really fast golf cart. Okay, yeah. I'm here last night. We're drinking beers and... Uh, watching Netflix on the big screen. So we uh, take this baby out on a run, private road. Here, thank God it's a private road so we didn't get in trouble. Holy Jesus Christ Superstar. This thing moves. It has a uh, CBR 1000 motor in it. And um, little tippy, the uh, roll cage is a uh, little less than I would like, but it does have the holy fuck handlebars for the passenger. This thing is terror on four wheels. Yeah, words can't describe how fast this silly thing is. I don't even know if I even want to get in it again while it's moving. Hey YouTube, I am Carpenter with RV Crazy. So this is my old Easy Go Marathon golf cart. It, uh, it was quite the project for somebody else and he completely tore this thing apart and kind of put a different chassis and a different engine into it. So the Easy Go Marathon has the suspension from a Yamaha Banshee quad. So it actually has a bit of suspension. And then an engine from a 2004 CBR 1000 RR. So it has somewhere in the realm of 160 horsepower on a golf cart. It's absolutely insane and way too much fun at the same time. I absolutely love it. It's it's a blast to kick in the pants. It gets your heart racing, but uh, eventually I do want to make it a bit more of a project for me. I bought it as a little bit of a project to, to fix it back up. It wasn't running when I got it. I, I want to get it to have a better suspension and some better, uh, better grip when it's raining out because with the way that it has the Banshee suspension, there's just not quite enough weight over the rear axle. So I want to get it set up a little bit better, but for now I'm just running it like it is. I, I suggest you put a thousand pounds of lead <laughs> in the back and this thing would still be terrifying. When when I have it in gravel, I actually have a cooler on the back of it and I fill the whole thing with rocks and it helps it get a bit better traction. Wow, the yeah. things you'll do for safety. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely fun. I gotta explain the experience of this uh, contraption. Uh, he, he decides to uh, take us out in the middle of the night, uh, thankfully on a private road. So I'm sitting here, I'm all strapped in. We got helmets on, so we're doing things safely. So anyway, he starts uh, accelerating and accelerating, and it goes, you know, when you're driving this thing, this is the emotional experience. It goes, okay, it's fun. Yeah, it's, oh, it's more fun. We're going faster, even more fun. Then we hit extreme fun. <laughs> we're having extreme fun. And then it goes to no fun. Scared, <laughs> scared, very scared. I'm going to die. You know, I'm going to have a heart attack and use that uh, $10 million medical insurance policy. Or we're going to hit a tree or go in the forest or a moose will come out in the road. And, and we're going to kill the moose and ourselves. But it's, uh, yeah, if it wasn't for the holy fuck handlebars up there. Oh, my God. We do have a good strong roll cage. <laughs> Yeah, with lots of ejection space. <laughs> yeah, this is just uh, crazy. My crazy toy. It's well, it is RV crazy here. So, yeah, well. The things you find at Cra on Craigslist. <laughs> yeah, things that could kill you on Craigslist. Oh, yeah. So yeah. You definitely could. You gotta be. Uh, you gotta know what you're doing and be a little careful. What do you think this thing weighs? You know, it weighs about a thousand pounds. Right. That's that's kind of my guess. I haven't put it on any kind of scales, but uh, you know, it's it's definitely a bit heavy. It's got stronger springs from when it's, it's a uh, bit heavy. Yeah, <laughs> it needs all the weight it can get, folks. <laughs>
It's a bit heavier than the street bike that it once was. Yeah. So anyway, that's uh, all we've been doing other than watching uh, movies on the big screen, which is a pretty cool way of uh, watching uh, movies on an RV, <laughs> literally on an RV. So anyway, we're off to breakfast here in uh, Western Washington. So let's uh, let's get her down and get some breakfast. Oh yeah. And okay. In the meantime, folks, stay safe. Keep your nose to the ground. Talk to you soon. Over and out. Talking about you.